So I'm here with owner John Cooper of Sidecar 11, and uh, he's uh, going to tell us a little bit about the history of uh, Sidecar. Well, I started this place about two and a half years ago. We opened our doors in March, and uh, we started as a prohibition cocktail place, but I quickly realized that it wasn't about so much the prohibition style cocktails. There was a lot of places out there doing them. So we've kind of morphed into more of a uh, whiskey and wine concept bar. Um, did you choose this location for any particular reason? You know, I was born and raised in Portland, and so um, I really didn't know a lot about the area over here. So this was kind of good luck, good fortune by, by us picking the street. But I had no idea that Mississippi was turning into what it was. But So I didn't really choose this location because I knew what was going on here. It was just a neat spot. It seemed like it was a good spot for our content. How long have you been working here? Ooh, long time, early 90s probably. I've been uh, behind the bar wearing an apron or uh, working in the restaurant business. Where did you start? Started at a little place, it was uh, called Push Pippin, it was a little pie joint, and that was my high school, that was my high school job. Awesome. So, well, we are, uh, like I said, we're, we're trying to become kind of a whiskey and wine concept, and so lately what we have been doing is been finding old bottles of whiskey, old bottles of uh, Madeiras and ports, and we're starting to open those things. A lot of times, when you're, we, it's pretty expensive to buy a whole bottle, but if you can buy a, a beverage or a drink, it seems to take the sting out of it. And, but then people can try things that they've never really even thought about trying. So uh, next Tuesday, we are going to open up a bottle of 1948 Madeira, and we're going to make Manhattan's with it. So I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, cool. Um, what, what are your sources for uh, these old? Uh, these old sources, the 1948 that we're going to open up, we actually got it from a local wine uh, distributorship. Um, a lot of the other places we're finding at, at sales or estate uh, sales and things like that, you can find things. Uh, you have to be careful with the wines that you buy, but the, the distilled products, usually they hold up very well, and as long as they're not open, uh, we're pretty good uh, about that. I have a bottle of 1940 Valentine's uh, that we got through uh, one of a liquor rep helped me find that one. And we have a spot for that. We're going to that one too here in a short time. Oh, cool. So I just found out that uh, Sidecar 11 is also a um, art gallery of sorts, and 100% um, of, of the proceeds go to the artist. Uh, it's, it's just a. Um, just a nice um, synergy of bar and art, and uh, it seems very, uh, very Portland-esque to um, also have sort of a de facto art gallery in a, in a bar. So once again, John Cooper and Sidecar Eleven. Thanks for coming, Mississippi. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely.